Frida was a key, key person because she was, when we started, there was no teachers. Frida was the only teacher. And so Frida was our school and we had nowhere else to go. And I realize now she gave us, you know, the tools to find out what we want to learn and to learn our heritage. I felt that Frida never got her full recognition as an artist. So we wanted to honor her and name the school after her. And the school is still going. Frida was smart because she realized what was gonna happen if we did not teach, we were gonna lose it again. And I think, you know, why the school is so important is that we're transferring this knowledge to the next generation. What we really want students to get out of the program is to learn the fundamentals well. And if they can learn the fundamentals well, uh, they can take their ideals in, in the art and, and create uh, uh, good art that, that's going to uh, take them in different areas that they, they would like to be as artists. What the whole course really models after is uh, uh, getting the experience of, of, of being an artist. Uh, we, we through, through being able to participate in exhibits, going to museums, meeting other artists. Really, uh, the course is based after being an artist and everything that goes in it. So it's like a hands-on uh, experience. We make sure that they they look towards their own culture, their their own culture for any any uh, long distance questions that they may they may have for, about themselves. Like if you don't if you don't know your own culture, then who are you? And that's that's basically what it comes down to. And and you can't you can't buy that information. It's uh, it's very realistic and human to to want to find these things out and and to bring it out in art is even more fantastic. The greatest accomplishment I feel is is to see our students participating in, in cultural events using their skills to enhance their people, their tribe, themselves, their family and bringing, bringing everybody together in, in a unity of art. It's fascinating to watch the students um, quickly go into creating their particular form of art and just create these incredible works of art and jewelry. The environment is, is one that everybody works together and shares their knowledge and you have access to incredible instructors here and um, years of experience at their fingertips that they're willing to share with you. As First Nations artists, um, a common theme that I've seen is to pass on what we've all learned. Um, I, think that's, I think that's a goal for almost every artist, especially in First Nations communities. You know, we see a, a lot of young people just needing direction. And so when those young people and those students come here, it's a, a vessel for just continuing on our traditional arts. It's an absolutely amazing program. There's nothing like it in Canada. Um, the teachers are incredible and really supportive. Uh, we just learn so much. I learn something new every day. It's amazing. I think it's so important to carry on these traditions. It's such a beautiful art form. It's so Canadian. Like there's nothing like it that exists in the world. I think uh, it's a real privilege to be able to do this kind of artwork. We want to really build that foundation in understanding your identity, um, as well as writing artist statements. So understanding your work, writing artist biographies, uh, applying for grants, so that once you graduate from here, you're able to continue your practice. As artists, it's our responsibility to know who we are and to know our styles and our nations so that we can represent that and really bring that forward to the world in an educational way. So today we're at the Terrace Art Gallery. Um, we're having our student exhibition. 
So today at the gallery we have 14 students displaying their artwork. We have works from our first year, our second year, and our third year. Um, I've learned so much in the past now three years. Uh, I didn't know how to do the designs. I didn't know how to do form line or carve before I came here and the instructors are absolutely amazing. It has actually changed my life and the way I perceive so many different things, the art itself, even geographical features like the mountain and designs. You can see the designs of the form line in everyday life everywhere now. We see where our ancestors actually gathered it from and their inspiration. And it's just, it's really humbling for me to actually do this kind of art. Being somebody who always wanted to go to school for art and now I get to actually connect myself with my culture and learn a lot more about it. It's helping me understand myself as well. Our ancestors did this art form and here we are today still practicing that same art form. We're learning off of them and it's sacred. It's so sacred and it's such a healing medicine. Like when, when we're drawing, when we're painting, carving, you know, it's like we can feel our ancestors watching us and I just know they would be proud of us that we're still practicing our art form, you know, we're, we're keeping it alive. We're still here.